Hello, everyone. We are at State Farm Arena as the Atlanta Hawks are getting ready to take on the Phoenix Suns and a little midweek action for the Hawks. They're running a four-game losing streak, hoping to snap that tonight. There's been a plethora of injuries on this roster, but hopefully they'll be getting on a roll tonight. Joining me now, a man that needs no introduction, mostly because of the suits, but also because he is a legend here in Atlanta, Dominique Wilkins, the human highlight reel. You just turned 60 years old. Tell me about that birthday celebration this weekend. What? Six, <laughs> 60, you sure? Maybe 25, I don't know. I mean, you know what, though? I, I really feel very fortunate that, you know, to make 60 years in my life, and I feel better than I ever felt. Um, it was a great celebration, you know, from the city, the fans, the organization. I couldn't ask for a better birthday. You have seen so much basketball in your time. I read an article recently that you talked about the 1988 Eastern Conference semifinals was one that stood out to you. What's another basketball moment that really stands out? Oh, man, I mean, it's so many. And the battles with Larry Bird and Michael yeah. Jordan, you know, guys like Clyde Drexler. I mean, I played some of the greatest players that ever played this game in one era. You know, and so you had no nights off. And that's the thing that I was most intrigued about and the thing that really, really brought joy to me is that I had a chance to play against the greatest players almost every night. Trey Young, he's leading the voting in the All-Star for the Eastern Guards. What makes it, what makes you confident that he could make the All-Star roster and that he deserves it? He's what All-Star game is all about. Entertainment. Entertainment. The guy who is electric, he brings a lot of emotion and electricity to the building. And so I'm, we're all hoping that he gets a shot. Also, Dominique, I did get you a little gift. This is because we are celebrating. Let's see if we can get these out. We're celebrating the man who is perhaps the greatest dunker in NBA history. If we can get these on. My, my, my head is too big. Your head is not too big. The glasses fit perfect. Okay. Happy 60th birthday, Dominique. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, guys, the Hawks are getting ready to tip off against the Suns, and we'll keep you posted on that score later tonight. Sweet. <laughs> This is going to be a fast segment. We have 100 seconds to tell you what's going on today in Atlanta. So we start with what we think you should know. Freddie Freeman sweeping the Players Choice Awards today as well as winning Baseball America's Player of the Year. Surprisingly, he is not a finalist for a gold glove this year. But Ronald Acuna, Max Freed, and Densby Swanson certainly are on that list. With four games left, Atlanta United's playoff hopes are bleak. Here's the current table in the East. All the way down at 11. They face D.C. United on Saturday, who they beat 4-0 the last time. And in our must-hear segment, interim manager Stephen Glass knows it is a must-win. Anytime you, we've went somewhere and beat a team 4-0 at their home, they, they're not going to be happy about that. And they're going to come and try and do something about it at our place. So we'll be, we'll be ready for what they throw at us. And hopefully with the talent that we can put on the pitch, we can take care of the rest. In honor of the Falcons facing the Motor City Detroit on Sunday, a little trivia on, on Julio Jones here. One of Jones' biggest business ventures is a Kia car dealership in Alabama, not a Motor City company. The UAW would not like our connection here. No one is saying his career is ending anytime soon, but Julio Jones is a smart guy. He is ready to go when his football career ends. All kinds of businesses, he has it all figured out. We're all jealous. Football is not forever, so um, just having a plan um, at the football, um, I got a lot of adventures. Everything is pretty much free at the end of the day. But as far as knowledge, you can go on the internet, you can get all the knowledge, you can you meet so many people in life. Why not take advantage of those relationships and those opportunities that you have in front of you to educate yourself on it. Cut me a deal on one of those, would you? Make it make it really good. Finally, uh, must see a fan at the World Series catching a home run throws it back, right? Well, he threw the glove. Luckily, he got that back as well. Dodgers and Rays are all tied at one game apiece. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is 100 seconds of sports for you. We'll be right back. So tonight in the 2020 NBA draft, McEachern product and Auburn Tiger Isaac Okoro was picked fifth overall by the Cleveland Cavaliers. He is the first lottery pick for the Auburn Tigers since 1988. Now, this was a big thing for Isaac Okoro because a lot of people didn't even think he was going to go until maybe six through ten. He got picked at five. It's pretty high. No, I feel like I had a, a great workout, a great interview with them. Uh, they also took me out to dinner. We just had a great conversation. So. 
I felt like throughout that throughout that day, I felt like I had a good sense that they were going to go get me. He was really excited. His whole family was here to celebrate with him in Marietta. And also, one of the coolest moments of the night, he gifted Dad a brand new Range Rover. That's how you spend your money as a top five pick in the NBA. Mom got a brand new purse and a watch, so already giving back to his parents, which is a great thing to see. Isaac obviously clearly very excited, and we wish him the best of luck in Cleveland. Of course we do. As for the Atlanta Hawks, they got a big defender coming all the way from USC. Onyeka Okongwu. Here are three things you need to know about him. He is a great defender, 76 blocks as a freshman, but just as good on the offense with an explosive power at the rim. He played at Chino Hills High School, and in his first year, he played with all of the Ball brothers, including LaMelo Ball, who was taken number two overall. And finally, Okongwu was younger, when he was younger, rather, he lost his younger brother in an accident. He wears a bracelet in honor of his older brother, and his family was emotional after that pick today. Perfect from the floor until overtime, scoring 28 points. Hawks beat the Hornets 143-138. Thousands of fans made it to the game despite the growing concerns about coronavirus. So right before tip-off, there were some big changes that have been announced from some of the biggest sports leagues in all of America. Maria Martin joins us right now. She's live at State Farm Arena with the very latest. Maria, this is going to change just about everything as we know it. Hey guys, yeah, well, and everything did go on as normal tonight as the Hawks beat the Charlotte Hornets in a thrilling double overtime victory. But just before tip off, like you mentioned, the NBA, NHL, Major League Soccer and MLS all released a joint statement saying that the locker room access would be limited to just players and essential staff starting tomorrow. That means the media will not be able to go in there starting on Tuesday and that change will be going on until further notice. Now the leagues received input from infectious disease and public health experts. The close contact in locker rooms creates a higher risk of spreading potential viruses. Media, they'll still get access. It'll just be outside of the locker room and in a podium type situation. These effects will take place starting tomorrow, but right after the game, we made one last visit inside the locker room to get a sense of what those players think about the upcoming changes. Hard thing to control, especially when we're in such a, an open environment, seeing a lot of fans. It'll be like practice, basically. So, I mean, something I'm, I'm not used to playing a game. But in sports arenas, and 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 us as players, we're exposed to it you know, a lot more than the average person who can, you know, for their job. For the most, some people don't have to go to work. They they're exposed to a lot less people. We're exposed to 15,000 people a night. So the players did say it would be weird if those changes were to be made in place, but they are ready in case anything should happen in the next couple of days. Guys. All right. Thanks, Maria. Maria, thank you very much. Here is the story for Halloween. Last year's seven and six A champions Marietta and Harrison have a combined record of two and eight. That's more losses than the other six champions from last season combined so far in 2020. Turning to another former state champion, North Gwinnett.